Hey, you forgot something. Hang oh, on. Thank you. Oh my God, FSM News is on. back for another school year with FSM News. And guess what? What? It's all about me. The news crew is doing an entire show about singers. Man, I wish I was a singer. Hello and welcome to FSM News. I'm Montel Moore. And I'm Desiree Williams. Today the show is about seniors and our struggles. What type of struggles do seniors go through? <sighs> Man, you wouldn't even believe it. Just stay in tune for this package about senioritis. Senioritis is when high school students enter their last phase of high school and feel as if they don't have to work as hard as previous years. Overall, my high school experience has been a unique one because People would describe me as like lazy, like freshman and sophomore year, but I think I definitely transformed and I had like an upward spiral. Right now, okay. well, since I'm in the college application process, it's you know stressful and stuff because it's like some college applications got essays and some don't, so it's like it's just hard. CIS has definitely affected me, but I think I'm still better, like, I'm more in control of handling my priorities. Senioritis still affects me today. Um, but I'm trying to stay focused on what's important, which is getting into college and graduating with decent grades because um, scholarships do play a part in me being able to make college a reality for me. Mia. Oh. When getting to the senior year of high school, most students think that their work is done. Little do they know, it just begun. I plan to either go to U of I or NIU and major in business and psychology and then um, have my own business once I get out of grad school and then be a therapist. Senior year is hard to prioritize stuff, but if you really think as far as like your future, then you'll end up prioritizing correctly and doing everything you need to do. Senior year is the start of your adulthood and it should be enjoyed but not taken lightly. Wait, I take what I said back about being a senior. I don't think I'm ready for all of that. Exactly. Hey, word of advice, you should drop out now while you have the chance. Hmm, I don't think I should take advice from you, Montel. Well, watch this news story on high school advice. In high school, there are many things one can learn from seniors. They know the hardships of transitioning from eighth grade to freshman year, the feeling of being the ignored sophomore, the exhausting time for juniors doing the ACT, and now they know how it feels to go through the college process. We are going to talk to several seniors and see what advice they have for upcoming high school students. What was your most challenging year in high school in Wildermont? Uh, my most challenging year was, I say, sophomore year. I wasn't taking it that seriously, um, grade-wise. My most challenging year in high school was my junior year because getting prepared for the ACT, it really wasn't easy for me because I'm not a really good test taker. My most challenging year in high school would have to be my senior year, um, mostly because my British literature teacher, he gets about a, well, he used to get two pages every night. Have your relationships outside of school ever impacted your education? No, because you have your own mind and you shouldn't let anyone take control of that. And whatever stays outside of school, let that stay outside. You no, know, it's it's a time and place for everything. And you know, you want to set part. You know, outside feelings and outside worries outside, and come to school to you know get that GPA, get your work done, so that you can get out of that. Have you learned any life lessons that was going to mess out to you? Who today's you, like that's following you in high school, you have like juniors, sophomores, freshmen. Seriously, do what you gotta do. Be on your grades because they can easily slip up, slip off. Just like with being absent, that takes your GPA way down. All in all, many can learn a lot of things from seniors. They know the hardships of all the high school situations, and now they're doing a college experiment. We wish them luck in their future. Report for FSM News. I'm Mariah Irby. That was some very good advice. Way better than yours. Yeah, I guess you're right. I wonder if someone who had the mentality as you did changed their mind about it after getting advice like that. Here's a profile on someone who did. Well, my freshman year, I was 
a knucklehead. I was always getting out task. Everything was more important than my schoolwork. I would talk back to my teachers. I would walk out of class. I wouldn't do my work. I'd just sit there on my phone, literally talk to my friends, have a whole discussion that's not even what the teacher is talking about. So I'll basically go off topic and basically do my own thing. I, one thing I do feel like my friends, I wouldn't, I, don't, I wouldn't know at the time because peer pressure with me, I really didn't know because I was young and peer pressure was such a new thing to me. Mostly that's when you come in high school, you're trying to make a name for yourself. You're always trying to be the person that's noticed, not the person that's not noticed. Cause you know, when you in high school, you trying to be noticed, trying to be the person that people know, so you can probably get connections at the school, at the life. Like the people you know in high school might even be there for you for the rest of your life. One thing that almost made me not even want to keep going was when I got cheated on by my ex girlfriend that I've been with for almost my whole year of high school. It was just the worst feeling, like. Everybody knows that feeling when you get hurt. And I literally didn't want to keep going and keep going at all. But I had people counting on me, dreams I wanted to do, people I wanted to show that I can do this no matter what comes my way. So I just really wanted to say everything and just show everybody that I can do this. Freshman year, Taiwan Rambo had received five Fs in his classes, and his class rank was number 75 out of 103 freshmen. Now in his senior year of high school, Rambo has boosted his class rank to well in the 20s out of 103 seniors this year. And also, his GPA has grown exponentially from freshman year to his senior year. After I improved my grades that great, I literally just wanted to go to the school of my dreams, which is Western Illinois. I also give people friendly advice with um, this program in my school called um, Young Man's Leadership. Young Man's Leadership is actually the best place to be. You can be come to me for anything. I'll be the best person you can come to about grades, work, school, projects. I'll just be that person. One thing I can give you kids nowadays is messing up and being like me, being a fool that I was when I was young and freshman. I literally just say like, man, just calm down. You, everything gonna come to you sooner or later. Like. You, can, you ain't gotta be popular, you ain't gotta be cool, you ain't gotta flex in front of anybody that you not trying to be like friends with. Cause you know, the people that you flex with not gonna send you down the wrong path. You gonna go to jail, start doing drugs and all this other stuff. Like just calm down, you don't need all that. I think I can see myself going to college. I'm sure everyone can see their self going to college, but can you see yourself paying for it? Duh, that's why there's things like financial aid to help you. Watch this PSA about it. This girl foul is terrible. Let me get her a call and see what's going on. Hello, FSM. Hello, can I speak to Brittany Martin? Yes, you can, please hold. Brittany? Yes. Someone's on the phone for you. I wonder who it is. Hello. Hello, Brittany. Is it possible can you come to my office so we can talk about your um, financial status? Okay, I'll be there. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Brittany Martin? Yes. Come on in. How you doing, Brittany? Good. Well, your financial aid at Chicago State University is not really good right now. So what does that mean? What do I have to do? Well, you have two options. The first option is you either have to get kicked out of school, or the second option is that um, you work with us with financial aid to help you pay for school to stay here. So what is financial aid and how do I get it because I can't get kicked out of school? Well, financial aid will help you pay for school and looking at your files, you, you really need it. Thank you so much. No problem. Financial aid is important. Learn about it. For more information, visit fastfood.ed.gov. Well, that's a wrap. Wait, we have one more story about me this time. Oh yeah, you know all sophomores are irrelevant, which is probably why I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a did you know on sophomores. <coughs> you mean the irrelevance of sophomores? Are y'all ready for y'all 2015 pep rally? Let me hear you singers! 
juniors, freshmen. Let me hear you all. Oh yeah, and the sophomores. Woo. Did you know that the sophomore year is the least recognized year in high school? So fast. Freshmen are entering the pressure of high school. Juniors take the ACT. Seniors have prom and graduation to worry about. Sophomores are irrelevant. Well, today I learned that senior year is very important, and I shouldn't think that I can slack off when I get to that year. And don't forget, financial aid really helps. Well, that's our show for today. Check us out next time on Canton TV, channels 19 and 27. But if you can't wait to watch us, viewers can also check us out on Facebook. Just search FSM News. And don't forget, you can also find us on ABC7, Chicago's website, in the community section. Three, two, one. one. That's, that's a, a wrap. wrap. That's a wrap. Three, two, one. That's a wrap. Three, two, one. That's a wrap. Oh. Three, two, one. That's a wrap. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's a wrap. Media cultivates diverse youth voices to transform media and society.